So if you've been following along with us through this entire door build, then you know how we got to this point of building this raised panel door. Well, at this point, we're now ready to put the finish on it. I'm gonna show you guys how I finished my hardwood flooring on this door. Since I didn't make a video finishing the floor, it's gonna be the exact same thing. And this is gonna be a little different because I am using a hardwood flooring finish for this. So I bought this at my local flooring store here. No association with any of these brands, but this is Loba Life Satin. So my theory is if it's good enough for a floor to be stepped on and you know have that durability, it's definitely gonna be good enough for this. And I want it to match the floor. So I got white oak flooring, white oak doors. It'd be nice if they kind of matched, right? So I don't want to bring and introduce a new finish into the mix. So I'm hoping this just looks the same. It's going to apply the same. It's a water-based finish. I'm literally just going to brush it on. I was really scared when I first put this on the floor because it looked a little like amberish and I do not like amberish colors on my wood. And the first coat is always kind of weird because it's like getting into the grains. The second coat will be more of a surface finish on top of the first coat. So it'll be a lot smoother of brushing. It's clearing up a little bit here. You can see it now. So I started here. It's still got a ways to go. Then I went here and here. And you can see, I mean, the change in the way it's drying. This looks a lot lighter than this now. First coat on the first side is done. We just got to let it all set up and revive back to a lighter color. So it's been about 15 minutes and this stuff is dry. And you can see this is kind of the color that it's going to be now. It's just a natural looking finish. It, it looks amazing. It looks just like the flooring in there. So for us to complete this side, we have to sand it with a foam pad like this. This is just a 3M uh, fine sanding pad. So I'm just gonna do this by hand, just so I can get in there all by hand and kind of fold the pad how I need it. And then we coat it again and then we're done. This will be completely done. So I'm going to completely finish this side of the door, um, get it that second coat on it, and then we can flip it and just repeat this process for the other side. And then after we put the second coat on, I will actually um, just lightly sand it again and then wipe it down with some water. Because you can see I'm kind of making that polyurethane dust. So I can just clean that up with a, um, just some water and a wet towel. All right, just gonna see if I can clean this out. Yeah, it comes right out. The water just gets it out of there. So, 
I'll let this really dry and it won't take long because that first coat's on it, that water that I sprayed is not penetrating the wood. It's just on the surface of that finish. I apologize about the audio in that last clip. I must have had the mic twisted or something. It does that sometimes. But um, I wanted to mention, I got this mini split. I've had this for several months now, but I've got it turned up pretty high, 76 degrees. It's a rare cold day here in Texas. Um, not supposed to be cold this time of year, but it is. Um, and I got this on and I'm able to control the environment to have a better finishing environment here because I don't want it to be cold while I'm applying this finish and you know have you know brush strokes and finish not drying properly so this thing is just as good as an investment for comfort it just comes in handy for times like these because um, this little shop is where I do everything this two-car garage and the benefit of this machine or machine, whatever this thing's called, mini split, <laughs> is that I can get this place really hot or really cold really fast. So, um, you know, some benefits to a small place looking on the bright side, but I'm letting this dry now from that water. It looks like it's pretty well dry. So I am going to go ahead and coat this again. So here's a look at the top panel that I coated first and you can see it's kind of in that mid stage where it has some dry and some wet but it's on its way there. You can even see this horizontal brush stroke right here against the grain. That will actually go away when everything dries. I'm just doing this because it's so easy and it's almost identical to the finish that I sprayed on my first white oak door. And it's just a lot easier and less stressful to just brush this stuff on, especially because I don't have a spray booth set up in here. Every time we spray in here, I basically move the dust collection. Those routers typically aren't there. And then I just build a plastic wall right here to spray. So it's, it's a bit of a hassle. I mean, I will do it when needed, uh, absolutely. But to just lay this down here horizontally, brush it on, wait, 10, 15 minutes and keep going, it's so much easier. And that's why I decided to do this with the success I had on the floor. So now that this is done with the panels, I can actually hit up the styles and rails. So here's what we're looking like now. You can see that horizontal brush stroke is eliminated. That was against the grain earlier. This stuff is just drying over here. And then I just put the finish on over here. Extremely, <laughs> extremely wet. And it's crazy. You could see the brush strokes all in this. I mean, they're pretty severe. But then look over here after the fact. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Super nice. So this side is done. Just gotta let this finish drying. So that feels extremely smooth right there. The second coat is all cured up and that is gonna be my final top coat for this. It's gonna be plenty durable and I just love how this came out. If you're looking for a really natural look on white oak. This stuff works awesome. I don't know how it'll look on other woods, but I'd imagine similar. So now that this is finished, let's take it to the general vicinity over there where it's gonna be installed. I can't do it quite yet because I need to build the jam, which will be one of the next coming videos. We'll build the jam, we'll hang the door in there, and I'm waiting on my hardware, which should be 
later this week, early next week. So I gotta wait on that anyways. And uh, yeah, let's see how this thing looks in place. <laughs> By the way, the other day when John and I were building this thing, we brought a scale out, we weighed it, it has 92 pounds. That's a heavy door. So solid wood doors are awesome, but when you're moving them around, definitely get a workout in. So here is the general area of where this thing is gonna be. Obviously, it's gonna go here. I'm gonna replace this, and my door stop is going to be white oak as well, just like this one over here, which by the way, this is the door that I sprayed with the finish and this is the door that I brushed and by my calculations they're pretty dang close in finish. These are two different finishes but they both have that kind of natural wood color and it's just so much easier for me to brush it on. Spraying is not hard but it's kind of the whole point of this using this product is to just get it over with with the brush just a lot more involved in the spraying so I think those are pretty similar and I think they'll pass but we do have some light areas here but overall generally I think we get the the same look and this here is like I've been saying exactly what's on this floor so I think it matched pretty well. Of course, this is a more character grade white oak that's on the flooring with the knots and imperfections. This is obviously way more clear, which is what we wanted for the doors. We, we don't want like rustic looking doors. Um, kind of just wanted those clear, but for the floor it was fine. So this will go in here and as a matter of fact, I can drop it in on this side into that pocket there and that's about how it's going to look. Let me actually open this so I can get it all the way back. There we go. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. How is that? That is absolutely stunning for your interior doors. Couldn't be happier with this look. Um, so next thing will be, we're actually gonna trim this out. This will probably be next video. I'm, I kinda don't wanna take my hand off this because I don't wanna get smacked by 92 pounds. So let me, let me pull it out and lean against the wall. So big moment here though checking this thing off the list. The jam and all that's really easy. I'll show you that. But next on the list, while I wait for the hardware for, for that to come in, is going to be trimming this door out. This is ready. This is ready to go. I'm ready to cover up all of this ugliness and just have this looking finished. This is gonna be a very traditional casing here. It's gonna have a plinth block. We're gonna custom make that. And then we're gonna use Windsor casing and back band for the actual, um, casing surround. So we'll trim that out and then I did make a decision on this wall over here, this monstrosity. I got a quote to have doors made for this, French doors in white oak. They were gonna do solid white oak. We'll, we'll talk about that when we get here and why that's probably not a good idea. But they wanted $7,500, which I think is fair, but it's a lot when you have all the machinery and know how to do it yourself. So I'm going to do it myself, so I don't have to pay all that extra money. So um, Ashley and I actually, we built this jam the other day. I've got it tied up with some old cable over there so it won't fall down. But this is the jam and I got kind of lucky on this. This uh, stud right here is dead center on the wall and I'm able to make a 60 inch opening. So I'll have two 30 inch French doors that are in swing this way and that will be dead centered on this wall and I won't even have to take out the two king studs on the side. I'll just have to cut the one, these three in the middle and then build the header and support it. But I think I'm gonna make a transom window over there up above it that's fixed, it's not gonna be operable and then maybe 
two casement windows on the side. We'll see about that, but um, that's a big list right there. So all that aside, super happy with the white oak door and the way it came out with this finish. Matches the floor just how I wanted it to and it's, it's just so pretty. So as you can see, we have quite a bit of work headed our way, tons of projects, a lot of fun stuff, carpentry details, architectural millwork details, and I'll be sharing it all with you. So thanks for watching these videos and until the next one, I'll see you guys.